Beautiful. Looks like you have a nice fish on. This is amazing. You know what? I think he's almost done fighting. Yep. I've got him out of that current. If you want to slowly slide that net underneath. Got him. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Let's get the Aaron uh, is here hooks ready out. with the pliers. Yep. We're using barbless hooks, but he was hooked perfect right in the side oh, yeah. of the mouth. Very he's well. He's got two of the he wasn't one is up off. in the auxiliary. No. Well, he hit uh, hit a little bit down current. So I think that actually helped because okay. we when he went to hit, the hook set itself really well. Isn't that beautiful? Right gorgeous, here from the God's River, fish. Elk Island Lodge. I'm just going to suspend it in the water because we're releasing all these fish, trying to handle them as little as possible. It's, beautiful it's a trophy lake fishery trout. because yeah. they release them all the time. Beautiful trout. Love the vermiculations. There he goes. Now, you know what? There's a big difference in spinners. I know you probably have a favorite spinner that you like to use. If you don't mind holding this one up, that's the one this that I one caught it on. Yep. And I'm going to just hold three it's or four Fox, other uh, ones. Vibrex Bullet. Yep. It's a nice heavy spoon, so in the faster currents, it works really and well. And the color's beautiful, but I want to show you these other ones because every one has a little bit different feature. So I'm just going to put them in my hands here, try not to hook myself. Okay, so these are all really good trout spinners, but I'll tell you the main difference. So the Vibrex, which is a real classic lure, this is the classic Vibrex, even though it's got yep. the bright blade. It's the bell you, right there. Yeah, you can see the bell, but look at the blade difference. Let's give them a close-up of the blade. The one that's in Aaron's hand is much slimmer. And it's actually on the shaft, it's as not opposed on to clevis. this is on a clevis. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So this one's going to resist the water more. This one in the current will come through the water a little bit better, sink down a little bit farther. Now these other ones that I'm holding in my hand, this is called a metric spinner. And you can see that it's got a solid body. It's actually quite a heavy lure, very popular on the west coast of North America. It's already rigged with a single hook. It's very good in fast water because it has a small blade and a pretty heavy body, that's solid metal. This one is called a shyster, and you can see that it's got also a very heavy body and a very long tapered blade. Then over here, we have another heavy body. So we brought all these because we knew we were going to face current conditions. This and is called a bolo. The bolo has uh, the bigger weights and a smaller size Yeah, the size smaller weight. size. You can see them here. So using the right spinner and also the way you fish it can make a really big difference. A lot of times if you cast it upstream or three-quarter and retrieve it with the current, the spinner will be able to swim down and work deeper. If you cast obviously three-quarter downstream and the current catches it, the spinner is going to stay more on top in the upper water column. But sometimes they hit one or the other. So you've got to really experiment to see where the fish are going to hit. Absolutely.